Well, tracking the Israel-Hamas war tonight, the U.S. is privately urging Israel to delay a planned ground war in Gaza. That will provide time for negotiations to try and release more of the people being held hostage by Hamas and to also help civilians. According to the health authority, more than 6,500 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza. Meanwhile, hospitals are struggling to treat more than 17,000 people. Here at home, a Palestinian father says he's lost multiple family members in the war. He says entire families are being wiped out in the most grotesque ways possible. But he's pleading for people to acknowledge them as human beings and not the enemy. ABC 10's Roxana Elias has their emotional story. This is video of the building Fahed Abushar's family lived in, which was bombed in Gaza and reduced to rubble. A loss of words, how to describe it. You know, to wake up or to, to, to hear that you just lost your wife, your son, uh, your in-laws, uh, it's just heartbreaking. Abu Shar says his cousin, who's a doctor, was married to a journalist and had an almost one-year-old baby. His wife, wanting her family to meet the baby, was visiting in Gaza when a bomb struck the building two days ago. And the last thing actually she wrote on her social media pages, that if tomorrow comes and you cannot or you don't hear my voice, or you don't hear of me, keep me in your prayers. Uh, she knew. I mean, every Palestinian in Gaza know that they're going to get bombed and killed. The father says there are no other options or choices given to them, and he wants people to know the reality of what's happening in Palestine now in the middle of retaliation. This is beyond genocide. This is just the utmost definition of hate and disregarding a human person. He says it's come down to children writing their own names on their tiny limbs just so they can be identified when a bomb hits. His message to anyone watching. Just see them, us, as humans. That's all, you know? That by itself will change everything. That will make people, you know, question what's being done to the Palestinian. And it will help elevate some of the suffering. He says this shows just how ugly the situation is. And although civilians want to leave the area, many are not given the chance.